We saw Joffrey die this season, didn't we, in season four at the Purple Wedding, as it's called by the fans. What was your reaction? <laughs> Wasn't everybody's reaction. <laughs> I wanted it to be even more bloody and more... I wanted it to be really awful. Well, it wasn't very nice, but uh, I wanted it to be even worse than that. Oh no, I think we've all been dying for that. There was a wonderful thing in the first series, which I'm sure you all remember, when uh, she nearly pushes him over the parapet. And, and we also wanted that. And it hasn't happened for four series. And suddenly it's happened. <laughs> what was it like being on set for the shooting of that wedding? Because you have various scenes with you and at the table while the yeah. feast is going on. Yeah, yeah well, uh, it, actually, you asked what it was like. It was absolutely non-exciting because there were so many of us. Uh, everybody had to have their crack of the whip. You know, had to, everyone had to be shot on. Um, uh, it was hanging around, it was really waiting, waiting, waiting while other people had their they did long shots and short shots and this side and that side and the other side from above because they were determined to get it absolutely right and by God they did. Um, so it was three very boring days I'm here to tell you. Um, but that doesn't mean to say we weren't enthusiastic about it because when you're on, you're on and you're enthusiastic and uh, there's a lot going on. But sometimes there wasn't a lot going on, there was a, just a, somebody bringing a glass of wine across or something like that. But you were in the shot, so you had to be there and chat up with your friend or whatever it was. And um, so, so one, had to be on one's, one had to be on one's toes. But that having been said, uh, it was a, a, a pretty tiresome. These very big scenes in films always are. I remember speaking with, uh, he was a great friend of mine, Charlton Heston, and talking about Ben-Hur. Uh, well, he was in the middle of that, uh, the great chariot race, of course. But he said it was so boring. Round and round and round and round. And these poor extras having to sit there day after day after day, fainting and things like that because they had nothing to do except go, eh, eh, eh. and uh, so they can be very boring. But that's the way you make films. And uh, that's been happening since the very beginning of big films. And of course, we had your scene in the trial with Tyrion as well. What was that like shooting that? Well, I get on very well with him. Every, everybody does. I, why not? Uh, he is for my money, and I'm sure most people's money, my, my favourite character in the whole thing. Because although he's naughty sometimes, and he sometimes behaves badly, not just naughtily, his heart is always in the right place, and you always know that He's sussing out what you're sussing out. It's a very clever character because the audience immediately identifies with him. Yeah, I know that, I know that. Go on, tell him, tell him, tell him. Oh no, you haven't told him. Yes, you've told him, brilliant. And, uh, and he's got this extraordinary ability, the character, to, uh, to talk tongues with Tywin, and um, who's a difficult one to talk with. But I thought one of the best scenes in the whole series was not, uh, 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 some of them being killed or whatever, they're all wonderful. But a lot, that long scene, <coughs> scene between him and Tyrion and Tywin um, about how he was born and how Tywin wanted to chuck him into the water and, the, and, and that whole that face to face thing. You know, you're a load of rubbish, but you've got to do your stuff now. You've got to fuck that girl and you've got to make a, a, get an heir. And, um, <sighs> but it was a very, very good, very well written scene, I thought. And they played it wonderfully. I think this Charles Dance, who I've known for so many years now, since uh, 1975, I think, um, and he's given some fine work. This is the part which is just absolutely Charles Dance, down to the very essence, his core. He, he plays it absolutely brilliantly. He just knows how to play it. and. Um, had I been 30 years younger, I'd have died to play that part. How likely are we to see you in season five of Game of Thrones? Oh, very likely. Excellent. I know I've got five episodes so far. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll start filming that in August, I think.